According to the policy statement, Minister for Presidency and Kampala, Frank Tumwebaze submitted to Parliament, KCCA needs 268.7 billion shillings to run the city for the financial year 2014-2015. Of that, government will allocate 131 billion shillings, 20 billion will come from the Uganda Road Fund, 22.5 billion will come from external funding, while local revenue collections are projected at 94.5 billion shillings. In a move to raise local revenue from 68 billion shillings as of the 2013-2014 financial year to the projected 98 billion, KCCA proposes a number of revenue enhancement measures, including raising market dues by 200%. For instance, the levy on a bunch of matoke will rise from 200 to 600 shillings, and one will pay 2,100 for a 100 kilogram sack of rice from the current 700. Outdoor advertising will also be increased by 100%. This means that for a 72 square billboard, an advertising agency will be charged 2.6 million shillings annually from the current 1.3 million shillings. Street parking will also be increased by 50%. The authority also proposes to improve new commercial road user fees. For example, motorcyclists will pay 20,000 shillings, special hire 25,000 shillings, while taxis will pay 120,000 shillings, and big trucks 240,000 shillings, while vehicles that load goods will pay 100,000 shillings. Embattled Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Sukwago described the revenue enhancement proposals as unfair to city residents. The national budget is 15 trillion, but 82% is going to come from these very people in the Kampala here, in the form of trade license, in the form of these uh, other things, income tax, VAT, what not. Now you're bringing more taxes, fines, and so on and so forth. You remember what I told this is not a development budget. But KCCA spokesman Peter Kauju said that the authority needs the money to effectively run the city. We are also increasingly uh, suffering cutbacks from government, just like all the other government agencies. Yet the need to provide uh, services in the city um, is growing. People need uh, better roads, they need paved roads, they need walkways. As Mayor Lukwago cries foul, KCC also suggests a raft of fines and what it says are appropriate penalties for violations. For example, operating without a KCC sticker will attract a 50% levy on the monthly sticker one pays. Failure to show the KCC sticker, you will have to be fined with 200,000 shillings, while failure to display the sticker will cost 50,000 shillings. If you obstruct the KCC staff during work, you will be fined 500,000 shillings. For taxis loading from unspecified taxi locations, the penalty will be 100,000 shillings, while fighting in taxi park areas will cost 50,000 shillings. Hooting unnecessarily will attract a 30,000 shillings fine, while touting for passengers will cost 30,000 shillings. Those conducting unlawful businesses in the park will be fined 100,000 shillings and parking in non-gazetted areas will attract a 100,000 shillings penalty. Lord Mayor Elias Sukwago says the proposed fines are illegal. All these fines you are talking about have to be supported by an enabling law. In a budget like this, in a ministerial policy statement, you do not introduce crimes. You do not specify penalties in a ministerial policy statement. Crimes are a creation of a statute. We are not coming out of uh, the blue to propose these rates. They are provided for um, under a legal environment. Most of these laws have been there. KCCA also proposes to use 60 billion shillings to raise emoluments of staff, including salaries, allowances and death benefits. The authority also seeks 15 billion shillings that will be for allowances and pay to the KCCA political wing, including the Lord Mayor and councillors. 245 political leaders, it is 15 billion. For 392 te 95 technical staff, it is 60 billion. In total, the salaries or emoluments 
and the NSSF and what not, Gratit is 75 billion. Tell me that this is a transformational budget. Salaries. It's um, a, a proposed uh, portion to cater for salaries of staff that are supposed to come on board. Like I said, we are, we are understaffed. The Parliamentary Committee on Presidential Affairs is yet to begin the debate on the policy statement by Minister for Presidency and Kampala, Frank Tumwebaze. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.